everyone, I'm out here with Pauline Cooks and she is making dinner for us. Yeah. And I'm really excited. What's the theme of the dinner? The four loves. The four loves. What does that even mean? The four loves is a C.S. Lewis book. And I'm gonna talk more about it during dinner. Each dish is like, I wanna talk a little bit about the concept of the book. This girl is smart, man. She's making it really little, like theological up in here. Well, you can be the judge after dinner. Okay. So today's dinner is themed the four loves. And I'm going to talk about the four loves for food. So the first of the four loves is affection. It's like in the Greek, they recognize it as like a mother's love to a child. And so I thought about like, oh, what could represent affection? I think about soup. Because mm. like I think about my mom making soup and like curry is very comforting to me and it like always sweets up my appetite. For less is friendship. Mm. It's um, filio. Historically, um, pineapples have been a symbol of like hospitality, warmth, friendship. And I think the Native Americans, they would have pineapples outside their house mm -hmm. as like a warm welcome. Mm -hmm. And so to pair with this pineapple dish, I have like spam and grilled pineapples. Mm -hmm. It's eros. This is the kind of love where you don't even think about what you can get from the other person. Mm -hmm. It's also one of the most fleeting. In, in TV, the infamous dish for like romance is Lady and the Tramp. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it is that spaghetti, oh, wow. spaghetti and meatballs. This is actually black bean um, meatballs. So wow. it's vegetarian. This is entirely mm. vegetarian. Mm. And this is a beet pasta. And I wanted to make it red. Wow as like a love, you love or wow. whatever not. The fourth of the love is charity, which is basically God love. Imperfect love can only be made sustainable and perfect and reach its purpose when we experience and know God's love. To honor God's love, I made a lamb dish oh. with um, sprinkling of matzah bread and like some bitter herbs and this oh. is my interpretation of charity and God's love. Amazing. Mm. Yeah. You guys, I brought peaches. Is this from Rainbow? And vanilla ice cream. Yes. And mint. You know I got the peaches and mint for free. Come on. That's how I do it. <laughs> that's, that's me. Jesus so flavor. I spent about uh, two minutes doing my dessert and Pauline spent like two days cooking. Pretty much. So it sounds pretty even. She got us a book too. Oh, I was like, it's so not crazy. a picture. I thought it was a picture. Oh <laughs>